good morning guys happy thursday today is the day before the big day tomorrow is the big day friday tomorrow is my surgery date i didn't want to come back on youtube like kind of like the same way that i used to be before i wanted to just have like a major change and one of it is having my breast reduction i just feel like it's just going to put me in a better place mentally physically emotionally like all over because this morning i could barely wake up because i was in such pain i'm telling you like people don't understand how long that i've lived with this like back pain and if you know anyone or if you yourself have a back pain you know how debilitating it can be sometimes you wake up you can barely do anything you can barely move your body it just takes such a toll on you emotionally and things like that it just makes it hard for you to show up you know as yourself 100 percent a lot of the time so i am so happy um i'm not nervous anymore to be quite honest all the nervousness is gone now it's more excitement because i just felt like i've been nervous kind of like my entire life for it now that is here i'm just i'm just excited because i don't know i just feel really good about it it's gonna be good i know i'm gonna recover really fast everything is going to be perfect so i'm very excited but i wanted to actually kind of like show you guys before and after so you can have like a good reference point how my boobs look without a bra on you know i'm gonna document everything for you guys so that way you have a reference to go so for reference point i am a 38 so my back is 30 which is one of the smallest back um and then my cup is an h cup um i got measured years ago and things like that i remember going to victoria's secret and they're like oh you're a double d and then nothing double d there fits me until i found the place on the upper east side it's on 59th street and 60th that i think it was like the russian women's that were there so i went in there to get measured they're like yeah you and h and i'm just like oh my goodness no wonder so i'm gonna show you what my boobs looks like in a bois this is what they look like and this is my sad profile over here as you can see that's me wearing a bralette in my robe and my thing is whenever i have people over it's just so hot so let me show you as you can see it's still i mean this bralette have served me for the past couple of years that was probably one of the best thing that i discovered over the pandemic to be quite honest because the thing with the um the underwire bras give me such back pain and once i discover this it reduced my back pain quite a lot and um and this is a side profile as you can see and what i love about the bralette is how thin the thing is this one is a little bit broken because i think i washed it and dried it in the dryer but yeah this is what the boobage looks like in a bralette for reference i'm gonna take some photos so that way we have some evidence okay and this is what they look like without a bra as you can see saggy they take literally my entire they cover my entire belly so i cannot even look at my belly or sometimes even look at my shoes or even tie my shoes it's just like it's just such a hard activity to do so i can barely see my belly button and everything because my boobs literally take that entire space of my torso and the thing is i have a pretty good sized torso because i have shorter legs um but you wouldn't know because my chest takes so much of it which is crazy and as you can see they just go all the way down um if you're kind of like looking i don't want to be like censored on youtube or anything like that but you can actually kind of like see how they go all the way down covering my whole belly and everything like that so the doctor says she's gonna try to put them all the way up here which will kind of like give me my torso or my belly back like i said my mom is gonna come down to like stay with me for the first couple of days but she had like a trip book that you know she's had to go um she's booked for like ever um the thing is i was supposed to get the surgery earlier but because of my sister-in-law's passing so i had to kind of like you know review the dates and um do it now so but my mom already booked her trip so she's you know i just felt bad i'm like don't cancel it just like go on your trip you know my friends will come to stay with me so sherry's gonna come to stay with me for a couple of days then vanessa's gonna come over and then after that i should be good so i'm excited i cannot wait um like i said i'm not necessarily nervous anymore more it, now it's more excitement before i used to be but 
I've just come to term with it, you know, like it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I know it's gonna be good. I'm expecting everything to just like go so smooth and I cannot wait to show you guys the results. I have taken some pictures without a bra before um where i just kind of like cover my nipple i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do that i don't know if youtube is kind of like censor it or things like that but let me actually try to like show you guys what my boobs looks like without let's say i wanted to wear a tank top i can't really wear a tank top without a bra as you know because look it just it just looks crazy so i can't wait to just like wear a tank top again also one thing to take into account the reason why my style was the way it, it was it was due to you know kind of like my boobs kind of like dictating what i could wear that looked chic compared to what i really wanted to wear i wanted to wear stuff that was a little bit more trendy but i just couldn't because it just would not look good on my body with all my breasts because t trendy stuff tend to be more for girls you know that don't have any boobs or if you do you have to be well proportioned i'm not well proportioned at all because i am so tiny and then this is what's taking all the space now you guys can actually see how tiny i i actually am actually when people meet me they're always so so shocked by how small i am uh, i'm quite small i weigh only like 110 or something like that but you could but most of you wouldn't know because of my chest sometimes can make me look a lot heavier but yes I am excited. The big day is tomorrow. I was thinking about going to Zara because there's this dress. That black dress that I tried on for you guys, I actually returned it because it was on the sale. So I returned everything. So I have to kind of like go back and buy it on the sale. I have to hurry up because there's not much left. But um, I'm going to go. I've, I've actually shot a lot of content on the other ones, all the try on to actually show you my boobs, all the before and after. So I'm going to edit this. Not edit. I'm just going to like maybe like you know hide my nipple video to be censored i want you guys you know i want every you know woman to be able to do this again this is not solely for cosmetic it's mostly medical because i've reached a point where i don't want to live in pain anymore i don't want to wake up and not being able to get out of bed because i'm in so much pain i don't want to wake up and just don't feel like i can do my job um so yes i want to live a pain-free life and also being able to walk into a store and buy a bathing suit i haven't done that for as long as I've been a girl, I have not been able to walk into a store and actually buy a cute bathing suit that fits me. It's just been, you know, the bane of my existence in a way. So I'm kind of like very excited for them to, you know, to get smaller and just be at a size that is proportionate to my body and also finding bras. So I'm hoping to not really wear bras anymore, honestly. I want to be part of the itty bitty community and, you know, community and just like you guys don't understand you girls don't understand how lucky you have to have nothing or to just have just a little bit of something your life is so much more easier your body is a little bit classier again not to say that you know if you have boobs or curves but it's just like the thing when you have a body like ours every little thing that you wear can look like you're trying too much even though you're not um i know you you know we're gonna say oh you know it's in your thought whatever it does not matter what you think that what you think about yourself in a way at the end of the day human beings that's how we are we are very visual it's the first thing that we see you know if i was something that's a little bit open it's just gonna look like i'm trying too much when i'm not in fact trying to too much it's just like i'm just wearing a dress as opposed to a girl who have no boobs at all she can wear something that is so low cut and then it looks classy it looks tasteful but for me i can't do anything like that without it looking like i'm trying too much i think i've even read some comments on the internet that i look like i have the body of like a porn star or something which was crazy to me i guess i kind of do in a way because you know this porn star they go and just add those like crazy boobs and like they're so tiny so i guess i kind of do in a way but you know it's not the profession for me again not judging anyone who is but it's just you know not for me so and that's about it again my doctor is really really good i mean it's something that i'm paying out of pocket you know she's she's good she's about her you know shizzle so um perhaps i'll have you meet the doctor tomorrow i don't know if she'll be comfortable being on camera if not i'm gonna leave her information in the description box um and then you guys can reach out to her tomorrow is a big day so i can't wait all right I'll catch you guys later. All right, guys, my last outing before my surgery because I probably won't be able to go out. 
yes, let me show what I'm wearing. I found this dress on Astor the label or ASTR. I don't know if it's pronounced Astor or if they just say the letters. But either way, this is the dress. I saw this dress, although I'm not into kind of like cutesy Bridgerton vibes dresses anymore. But I do plan on having a boat, um, you know, soon-ish. <laughs> Maybe like next year or something. So I just feel like this is like a cute dress to just wear boating like on a day where, you know, it's that time of the month. And you know, I don't want to risk it with my all white dresses. That's my problem. I have too many white dresses. And then when it's that time, if I'm looking for like a cute dress to wear, then I don't have anything. So this is the reason why I get this one. Although it's looking a little bit Bridgerton is in the front. And I'm not really like into that style anymore. But what I do love about it is the back. I just love that the back is sexy and I will feel comfortable going to a ball i actually wore this to a ball last night where i went to just like meet someone so this is how this dress is on me it is very tight in the front and um and it's kind of like very loose over here as you can see i have so much space hanging so this is a problem that i run into this dress an extra small would be what would fit me but because of my chest as you can see it is super tight on the chest and even my bra is kind of like showing underneath but you can't see it because i'm wearing a black bra um but yeah it's super tight on the chest again that's the issue that i run with a lot of my clothing i always have to kind of like size up because of things like that this is the dress i love that now i can wear stuff with more with my back out more so i'm kind of like very excited about that let's go morning guys today is the big day happy friday i'm so excited so i'm wearing this dress to get easy to get undressed it may not fit on the way back but we'll see but i have um another one for backup that is a little bit looser but yeah this is from mango got it in mexico city so i don't know if they still have it you would have to check your local stores but yeah is what I am wearing today. I'm just radiating. It's just pure radiant, so I need to keep this up. Um, I want to drink on the weekends or something. But let's go. I'm gonna take you guys, you know, with me. Um, let's see what this is about. Play All right, guys, made it. I'm at the doctor's office. Well, I'm outside because it's. I'm I'm early. I forgot. I'm still like on you know uptown east, so it's just easy for me to get here. So my doctor is over here on Park Avenue, of course. Um, so this is my doctor's information because a lot of you are curious. So this is it. Sharon Giese. I'm just waiting for them to get here and get going. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. It's gonna be good. All right, guys, I am in, in the waiting area. So nice over here. It's beautiful. Love that. Time over here. I can't wait. This should be fun. All right, guys, putting the gown on. Let's go. It's game time. You want me to take a photo with you? Yes. Oh, Maki. Maybe Zumba guy. Zoom. Well, oh, well, yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome to my new life. Guys, we are, are in business. business. Look at this. It is, I was gonna say, first day for saw, but it's not. It's literally still the same day and I'm honestly I'm honestly so impressed by how easy this was honestly I will show you everything tomorrow well not everything I will show you me in this bralette tomorrow but let me back up to actually show you this is what I am looking like so far and yeah I could use my arm I could do my <laughs> I know I'm sounding ridiculous right now but I could do my makeup if I wanted I can get up from the bed myself because I remember when my mom did it she couldn't even get up from the bed I had to help her out I think that's what kind of like freaked me out a little bit 
but she and my doctor she is freaking amazing and my mom was just telling me like she googled her she was in the wheel house was in new york and i'm like oh no wonder i'm like she knows what she's doing but seriously like she's patented a lot of ways a lot of cool methods to just like do things in a more efficient and better so so yeah my, my doctor is a shizzle no wonder she doesn't take insurance like no wonder and then i was telling the anesthesia um the anesthesia so i was like that's why they would pay her the big bucks right <laughs> she was loud. i had everyone crying today today i realized i have my mom's sense of humor because my mom is like that she's always kind of like cracking everyone up and worsting people i don't worst people that much anymore just a little bit certain people but that's exactly what my mom is and then i get my craziness you know love to travel adventurous spirit for my dad so i'm a really good mix of the both of them let me actually take you to the mirror you guys finally get to see me on my underwear but it's okay this is what it's looking like so far amazing like what remember i'm swollen um But yeah, it feels amazing to be able to see my body. Now you can see guys how long is my torso. Before you can never see, I have a very long torso, but I just have shorter legs. Um, but yeah, now you can actually see. This is day three, so I've changed into the gray bralette. I still have my little leaky things to hold the blood. Not much blood. I emptied it this morning. Um, the worst thing is that I had my period last night. So my boobs were like kind of like on fire. Because of like all the nerves and like, you know, everything working. Other than that, it's been good. I haven't taken any of the painkillers. I've just been taking the Tylenol. I've heard it's way better anyways like two advil one tylenol so yeah that's the update i mean as you can see it looks big and swollen but don't worry everything is gonna go down very soon tomorrow is monday i have my doctor's appointment i'll take you guys along with me but yeah it's just uncomfortable not really much pain kind of like wound or weight there but other than that that's about it if anything happens i'll update you guys later but other than that, that's about it. Not much else. Hello guys, happy Monday. It is day four after the surgery. So today I woke up, there's been no pain, which is good, but I tried to do a little bit too much and then I had to kind of like stop myself and just like chill. So I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment. I think she's going to remove the tube, the drainage. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, I already have fillings and my nipples and everything, which is good. So yeah. I'm excited but I just want to get better and like do things because I'm not someone who can just like you know lie down for too long but at the same time I know like my body needs it it's just been you know very tough on my body to like go to surgery and stuff like that so I need to I need to take it easy hi right, guys out of the doctor's office they just take my tubes out to remove the drainage and everything like that the what is it called Jackson Pratt drainage or whatever they are out. She said everything looks so good. I am so excited. And Vanessa was like, when when I go down, she's putting a camera in my casket. How dare she? <laughs> I'm excited. Everything looks good. I haven't really had like any pain like that. And she said I've already seen the worst of it. So I'm looking good. The only thing I've had to take it's some um, Tylenol and Advil, which work actually really well together um it's like the equivalent of taking a narc so a little fyi but ask your doctor don't do as i you know don't do as i did because my doctor told me to so to me they're still looking too big but they're gonna go down because i'm still swollen so they're gonna they should go down in the next couple of weeks so i'm excited to like see them go smaller because so so far i'm like they're just still too big i want them as small as i can but i'm excited Guys, I am back home now. Drainage are out, and then I want to actually show you what this dress looks like on me. Can you imagine? Before I could never wear a dress, 
and be able to zip it up like that without me looking crazy because my boobs will just be so big you can see the difference already like it looks so proportionate to my body i'm already so happy um let me give you a little peek so this is what they look like so yeah i mean it's not centered but but yeah feel so happy i'm gonna take a nap now because i just feel a little bit sleepy but yeah that's the result drainage are out i can't wait to show you guys my new boots hello guys happy tuesday it is day five since surgery um feeling much better um slight accident last night i don't know i'm a little concerned i don't know maybe it's in my head i feel like the side is getting bigger but when i went back and look at the footage um and the camera it looks like when i came out it looked bigger so i'm just like okay i think it's fine but um yeah this is what it's looking like so far a lot of the swelling has gone down which i honestly didn't notice until i look back at the footage when i just came out i was just like whoa i was so inflated like today i'm gonna take a real shower i don't know how real it's gonna be but um we're gonna try I just have to remove the gauze, um, the gauzes that is on the side from the tube removal from yesterday. But other than that, I just have to take it easy. I try to go downstairs because I live on top of a pharmacy, so it's just like get like toilet paper and stuff like that. Because I wanted to go for like a little walk and see how I felt when I came back. I was lightheaded, but the doctor did tell me yesterday that be careful with the um not to be careful just she said she just told me that if it's really hot outside and then i go walking i may be a little bit lightheaded from taking the tylenol and advil so just knowing that i'm just like okay i just have to like you know sit down for a little bit so yeah that's a little update like i said the pain was only for the first couple of days on the first not not the first couple of days on the first day i didn't feel anything because I was I was just uncomfortable but on day two and day three that's when I felt a little bit of pain um, so I just you know took the Tylenol and Advil so that worked pretty well but yesterday wasn't really in much pain just again uncomfortable like you know like itchy because you know it's healing you know the nerves are connecting and everything like that I'll update you guys on everything don't worry i'm gonna you know like try to shower a little bit later and change my bra and things like that it's just good to buy i'm gonna link the one that i that i use from amazon but just to get the three pack so that way you're not stuck with only one bra and then having to wear only that one bra and then like you know because you're gonna be washing it so i'm glad i bought like a three pack if anything i'll just say get two two three packs i don't know because I, I i tend to overdo things i prefer to have backups than to not have backups and um also whatever size you think you are go a size bigger because this is a medium and i feel like it's a little bit tight um so yeah just read the description also just you know to be sure but yeah so far i am super happy so i can do a little bit more with my arms still can't really lift like any you know heavy objects just yet you know i can't put it all the way up i can only do like you know halfway for now you know which is good enough that's enough for me to like regulate my nervous system and stuff like that to just do a little bit of exercise that way but <coughs> i'm hoping on day seven yeah i'm hoping by friday day eighth actually a week i should be good um well i should be better but um yeah i just wore that blue dress that i've been wearing for the past couple of summers and the fit and the difference is just so crazy to me like amazing so i'm just like so excited for wearing clothes right, and guys i have just taken my first shower and changed into the black bra i prefer the black one i think it's more comfortable 
I'm now washing the gray one. I have yet to wear the nude ones because I think I'm gonna save the nude for when I'm like no longer leaking like further in into the healing journey. I'm just gonna stick, you know, to the to the black and the gray from now on. But yeah, it felt good having my first shower. Cause I've been stinking up this place all week for five days and it was nice to get a little clean but yeah the difference is just outstanding so far like I can't wait for when they go down no biggie you know we'll be ready for low cut things a little bit it just feels good too Take a shower and look like a human being. Hey guys, we are on the roof relaxing. I forgot to honestly, like, the roof is here to just come and to relax. But yeah, we are here having a good time. And it's a happy Friday. It has been eight weeks since my breast reduction surgery. It is about. 1404 so it's about 205 right now and it was about the same time when I was coming home I went in I was at my doctor's office at 7 o'clock in the morning and I think it started like 9 yeah I think I got there at 7 a.m. and then I went in in the operation room on like 9 or something like that since it's been eight days it's been a week um, today I woke up actually feeling really really good again one thing about me I'm like super kind of like positive and I've just been repeating affirmations to myself like every night Actually all day long. I'm just like my boobs are healing as the speed of light my boobs are healing As the speed of life or as it faster than the speed of light and everything like that So I've just like been brainwashing myself and I actually feel so much better I could just do I'm a little bit more flexible with my hands now I'm not supposed to put it all the way up but I can go like every day I can just go a little bit higher up which is good um, one thing that I was doing wrong was actually kind of like you know like carrying not necessarily heavy stuff but stuff that wasn't too light so I've kind of like stopped doing that uh, I'm just keeping it like super minimal now but yeah let me actually give you an update what you really want to see is my boobs so there's not much to see i'm still wearing um sherry has been with me f for like an entire week now um yeah she came on saturday and she's leaving today i think simi is coming today so this is exactly what you want to see um the thing is when it comes to body wise my swelling has gone down is it all the way down honestly i cannot tell you but all i know is i could see my abs again and things like that so that has gone down i'm taking my ginger shot every day but as far as my boobs goes the size is still the same it's gonna take at least a month before they start to go down which i'm very excited about because right now i just feel like they're still too big um they've been feeling a little stiff all week and i think today was the first day that i woke up where i'm just like it feels better it doesn't feel as uncomfortable as it's been feeling so the thing is i haven't eaten all day which is not good because i feel a little bit lightheaded so i have to make sure that um i try to eat something on noon but um so yeah this is the update that you really want to see this dress is from hill house it's one of my favorite dresses um this is a size small again everything fits me so different the other day i was trying clothes on i literally almost cried because i just saw the difference in my body i saw the difference on how i looked i was like oh my god like why did i wait so long my goodness um so i'm wearing this dress today because it's just like perfect to kind of like hide this ugly bra <laughs> that i'm going to be wearing for the next three months or actually for like an entire year i should be wearing this bra to actually to sleep with to like give me the support and things like that so i'm gonna be wearing this this bra 
I got a size medium. I feel like I should have gotten a large and a medium. The medium to wear like a month from now when my boobs go down. Because I feel like it could be a little bit tight. But my doctor said it fits perfectly. I'm going to link it below if you guys are interested. If you guys are planning on having surgery or whatever it is. Um, I will link it below. It comes in a pack of three. It's like only 28 bucks. So it's like pretty affordable. It's really, really good. And um, yeah, I'm not in pain. The only two days that I was in pain was day two and day three. That was only it for me. I did not take any narcotics. You know, all I took was some Advil and Tylenol together. It works the same as, you know, taking a narc, which was perfectly. That's all I took. I haven't really been in pain. It's just like here and there, I feel like a sharp pain going, which is fine. It's just like, you know, the nerves connecting, healing. That's what I'm saying. I'm just like, I'm just like brainwashing myself. I just say like, oh my goodness, I feel all the sensation in my nipples better than ever ever before you know i can feel everything which i can so like every day i'm just like yeah i i already feel i think on day four i started already feeling sensation in my nipples i guess you know the anesthesia was like wearing all the way off and things like that but yeah that's a little update for you guys that much today is the first day that i'm gonna try to not the first day the other day on wednesday i actually tried to go for a walk at target which is about a 10 minute walk from here and i was when i came back i was so lightheaded i took a nap for like five hours so i was just like you know what let me just like sit home and just not do too much so yeah yesterday i stayed in all day and trying to take it easy Today is the first day where I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna venture out. Uh, Shari and I, we're gonna try to go to Hillstone to actually get a sandwich for lunch because I've just been craving um, their sandwich so badly. I'm gonna try to stop at Nespresso. So that's the only thing that I have to do today. So I'm gonna see how it's going. I'm gonna see, you know, if that little bit just take me out. I hope not. It's a little update for you guys. Um, let me see. If I can just give you like a look from here so you can actually see again like I said I think the sizes has been of course I was a little bit more swollen I'm not gonna lie but um, I would say the sizes still look the same as when I came out of surgery I mean it did go down a little bit because I had swelling all over my body but yeah that's it I'm so excited guys I cannot tell you how excited I am it honestly just makes me so upset that I waited so long to do this this was the best money that i've ever spent honestly the best like i just wish i would have just done this sooner i'm just like wow like this is amazing again when i try clothes on now and i'm just like whoa <laughs> this is insane now i can wear baggy clothes without looking crazy because before if i wore baggy clothes it just didn't look right because my chest was just like so much so there was like, you know, something wasn't working. Now, if I wear uh, baggy clothes, I look, I would look fine because you can see that I'm tiny all around. So I'm so excited for this journey, guys. Like I said, if you're having this issue and you've been thinking about getting surgery, I would say do not walk, just run to your doctor's office and do it. Do whatever you gotta do. Just do it already. Like if you've been waiting, if you've been thinking about doing it, please do not wait any longer and just go get it done. This is everyone. This is the first surgery. Everyone's always says the best decision ever. I've never had like another surgery where people were just like, oh, it's a best decision. When it comes to breast reduction, everyone that I know I've had it done always tell me it was the best decision of their life. They wish they would have done it sooner that is me right now i'm telling you guys it is the best decision please go ahead and just you know get it done i'll catch you guys tomorrow i don't think i'm gonna update you tomorrow i don't think anything's gonna happen really but i will update you perhaps a week later maybe next friday i'll update you but you never know hello guys happy monday this is the first day that i've you know put on makeup for like two weeks and stuff like that it was a process i'm not going to lie it did you know like i was out of breath for a little bit but we we did it we, we made it work the reason why i'm in makeup if it wasn't for this i would not be in makeup today the only reason why i'm wearing makeup is because i have a um i'm doing an interview for like a casting for something um you know possibly on tv so we'll see um maybe i'm speaking too soon but yeah but i'm not gonna tell you what it is so 
it would just be fun but let me show you i've decided to just put on the star dress and honestly every time i try clothes on it makes me want to cry the way things fits me it's just on a whole new level but at the same time i cannot wait to take it off because it is putting way too much pressure on my boobs so um it's, i just find it's just so much easier to just not have anything on at all to j i mean just have my bra on when i'm with my bra that's when i am the most comfortable because you know like it's providing me the support even without the bra i don't like being without the bra because it just feels so raw when i'm with the bra it just feels amazing so this is putting way too much pressure on my chest right now but it's for the interview so i thought mm, why not so i still have the bra on it's just underneath but guys you remember when i tried this on when you know i wear this dress usually my boobs is like spilling over and now this dress is going to be a little bit big for me it's going to be a little bit loose especially when i don't have a bra on when i'm wearing this i'm gonna be wearing it without a bra i'm just gonna do like nipple covers and things like that or i could just do like a strapless bra but the goal is not to wear bras at all to be quite honest and i'm just like uh, wait a minute like why did you wait so long like for the past decade you could have just like been wearing clothing your size you could have been wearing things that you want to wear but um you know what it's in the past now we're not gonna like you know sit around and say what if you know everything is in the past we're just gonna let it be in the past and i'm about to get ready i've got my ring light over here and um yes follow me in poshmark because i will be selling a lot of my closet i just ordered a printer today and then tomorrow i'm gonna try to go through my closet to just like get stuff out again i'm not supposed to be doing much for the first two weeks but tomorrow i'm gonna try to like go to like my closet and kind of like skim through it so far right now um during the day i'm fine it's at night time right before i fall asleep they just feel like a little bit heavy and things like that and uncomfortable but once i do a little affirmations like you know within like five ten minutes i start feeling good again i just like believe in these things i just brainwash myself i just say like oh my goodness my boobs feel, my boobs feel so comfortable my boobs are like you know healing so fast they are healing extremely fast I'm just like my nipples are reconnecting i can feel everything and i've already feeling everything so i just kind of like you know brainwash myself with like positivity you know and things like that but i got to get ready for my meeting let me go and i'll catch you guys after Hello guys a little update so this is what i am looking like on day 11 but yeah this is what i'm looking like this is the first time i'm using this um the nude bralette because the other two are kind of like dirty so I just put them in the in the laundry now. But um, someone was just like, oh, on Instagram, someone was like, your boobs still look big. People have no common sense. Like, mind you, I, I'm only like a week post-op and, you know, I'm still healing. So technically my boobs are still swollen. It's going to take at least two to three months for them to go down to the size that they are supposed to be. So they're going to get smaller than this, you know, because right now they're still stiff and healing but um yeah this is a size comparison difference like this is just insane and i cannot wait for them to get smaller to be quite honest um even though when i try clothes on they look so tiny and i'm just like this is just amazing because i remember when i shot this dress i was so frustrated that day because my boobs were kind of like all over the place it was just it just wasn't looking right like i remember almost wanting to cry and now for me to just try on this dress the way that it just like it just fits so perfectly it just flows it just look right it doesn't look like my boobs it's just like bulging out just like you know doing the most it just looks so amazing like this is it this is what i've dreamed about i'm so in love with my new body i just cannot wait to just like start working out uh, i'm gonna sign up for pilates but yeah this is the update as you can see like my new body is just looking right and nice i love it oh my goodness my body mm -mm -mm. I'm so happy my right one feel like a rock it just felt like so hard and then the left one is just like very sensitive so 
trying to take it easy what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just like try not to do too much at all for the next couple of days i'm gonna try to like sleep a lot because you know your body regenerates when you sleep so i'm gonna focus on like getting a lot of rest like i was doing for like the first few days i was resting a lot i was taking so many naps i was in bed literally almost all day but um over the weekend i just felt like i did too much I so i'm gonna go back to like actually chilling and then i'll update you guys i think the next time i update you guys it's gonna be if it's the first time i create content or if it's like the two week post up then i'll update you hello guys happy tuesday i've had so many packages that came in like my house is literally upside down but this is something i'm not supposed to be trying to unclose anyways because <laughs> i need to have my bra on at all times for the first two weeks so my boobs can heal because they need the support right now i can just feel them like put the bra back on but i just thought that i had to like show this to you guys my god finally i can wear bralettes like this my goodness i cannot tell you every time i try clothes on i get so emotional you guys have no idea you could still see my incision tape i kind of took some pictures of it so i'll have some pictures on my on this video actually but yeah every time i try on clothes i get so emotional like this is just freaking insane to me that i can wear stuff like that i will link the bralette below if you guys are interested this is a medium but i should have gotten a small but i actually like the medium because it just fits perfectly i may go ahead and order the white one because this will go so great underneath blazers and things like that and also to just wear with like high waist pants um if i'm on vacation and i want to like you know have my shoulders out because typically i'm always like covering my shoulders and things but now i don't have to do that anymore oh and i could i think i could see the difference because i feel like i had a third boob here and um, the doctor did a little bit of lipo to kind of like remove the extra fat over here. But I think it looks great. But yeah, I cannot wait for my boobies to like heal. They are healing so, so fast. My goodness, I am just so excited to just be able to like wear a bra and just like start wearing clothes again. Because right now I can't really wear any clothes because it still put like pressure on my boobs. So hey oh my goodness the next thing i just need to work on like tighten my belly but because i haven't been drinking my ginger shot in the morning the difference is insane my god but i'm obsessed guys i am obsessed with my new body i'm like this is the body i was meant to have all these years and i just cannot believe i robbed myself of being happy in my body for so long i just can't believe it again if you're someone who is in a position to get the surgery done please go ahead and get it done you will not regret it honestly it's literally one of the best decision that you would ever made i just you you guys don't understand how freeing it is finally you can see like how you know tiny i am and things like that even people say you look taller and i'm just like yeah because my boobs used to take like my entire torso so you can never see that part of my body but now that you can oh my god guys maybe i was just a hater when it comes to like style because i just felt that like my body kind of like betrayed me and i couldn't wear the things that i wanted to wear maybe maybe that's why i was salty in terms of just like style maybe it's because i couldn't wear these things i don't know now that i started thinking about it i'm just like maybe that was my reason when i used to make this video about like looking classy or chic or elegant and things like that which i'm still gonna look by the way it's not like i'm gonna be working on naked by any means but uh, i think that's probably what it was i'm just like hmm, maybe i was just salty i couldn't wear these things but um but yeah i just felt like my body picked my style for me uh because my boobs were so out there i just felt like anything that i would wear would just kind of like make me look like a porn star if it was too low so i kind of like hide my body and you know drowning in clothes because um i didn't want to you know look a certain way and yeah now i can i'm so excited guys look at that now i can just be in my house with a little top like this you know looking cute without having to put a bra on all the time i'm telling you after healing time it's about to be a bra free life for me like i am ready to divorce i mean i'm already divorced i've started the paperwork to divorce all my bras it's over for these you know for these hoes i am done 
and um yeah i'm gonna go now i'll catch you guys Hello, guys happy friday it's been two weeks since i've had my breast reduction surgery i'm going to say excuse the mess because my place is so messy right now because i haven't been able to you know like work um shoot content and you know what happens when i don't shoot content for two weeks i've got boxes on top of boxes um i've got three campaigns to shoot plus plus gifts that i received from brands and also plus some of the stuff that i've been ordering for myself because i'm just so excited about my new body like every time i try on clothes i literally want to cry today was my first day back at work and i shot a campaign today i shot like three looks and then i just shoot something in the house um so i'm still not supposed to be without a bra for you know like for two to three weeks it's been two weeks now so i think one more week the doctor said at three weeks i can go bra shopping but i've already ordered a bra from amazon it's coming today because i wanted to be able to to wear something when i'm shooting content because this bra is not the surgical bra is not cutting it you know especially for the stuff that i'm wearing if it's a dress that has like maybe a little look cut v and things like that it just doesn't work this is from etsy i'm gonna link it below but um but yeah that's what's been happening again i woke up i just felt like i'm back to normal almost um i don't know like i said maybe i put it in my head that i needed two weeks to get better um i do have an event today with one of my favorite brands pharmacy but i'm not even sure if i'm gonna make it to be quite honest um because i just felt like, felt like i've done enough for today and i want to go to bed it's so funny i've turned into a granny actually to a certain extent i'm just yeah um i just want to like go to bed early and just be in my house and doing all that good stuff other than that they've just been feeling a little bit kind of like i'm not in pain or anything like that let's get that strain out no pain whatsoever the only day that i felt pain was day two and three have not been in pain but i must say this morning i just woke up they've just been like the nerves are just like working and then they're just like you know just kind of like sharp little pain that you get like you know when like a nerve is working so that's what's been happening right now as you can see they still look big but it the bra not only makes them big but they're gonna go down as well but like i said every time i try and close like one of the dress that i was shooting today i'm like i can't believe i'm like i've worn it so long over a decade to be able to wear something like that i am just like so ecstatic like i said i just wish i had done it a long time ago i just felt like this has had a hold in my life for so long and then at the same time i did not realize how big of a hold my breast had on me this entire time so that's the update today was my first day back at work and um oh yeah let me show you the beautiful flowers that deb sent me yesterday they're like the most gorgeous bouquet seriously they're like the most beautiful flowers that i've ever received honestly she did so good um this was just so stunning and then i got this cute little bag i will link it below if you guys are interested because i just feel like orange is in right now it's just so cute and i got this orange dress and i wanted something to pair it with and i thought this would be like the perfect little bag i will link that below but yeah the flowers deb sent me they're just like stunning i just love them so much um i'm about to do a little bit of more work it's two o'clock my mother is coming to bring me food i just am tired of just like ordering food i don't want to have to do that again um anymore honestly i'm just like i need to stop ordering food um but yeah and then maybe i don't know i'll see if i'll go to the event but i'm not sure i honestly do not want to be in a car and then like you know like because you know the movement of the car just kind of like disturbed my boobs a little bit so i'm like i don't want that so but my boyfriend got me this book by leo buscaglia it's love what life is all about so i'm gonna read this over the weekend i do have another big campaign to shoot over the weekend and then i have like an easy one the easy one i'm gonna wait until next week i'll show that one next week next wednesday because i want to get braids done soon 
so um and also my hygiene has just been taking a back seat it just made me realize how important exfoliating is because i'm obsessed with exfoliating right i exfoliate like literally every day probably twice a day i overdo it and then i haven't been able to really do much in terms of you know like movement and stuff so i haven't been exfoliating and i can tell the difference some areas just do not look as lively i can see the dead skin my skin kind of like look dull it doesn't look like you know glowy anymore so this morning i actually did like a i did a mask i did a natural mask it was coconut oil turmeric powder and then sugar so i did that mask for my bikini areas because that area has been suffering you know we move and then i also did it for my underarms um it's so funny my underarms were acting so crazy but um that exfoliating mask seemed to have calmed it down so i'm gonna be doing that mask every day i'm gonna do it every day for two weeks and then i'll let you guys know of the result if it lightens the area if it just like make the bumps go away the area used to be so smooth so it's like a little bumpy now i know a tmi but you know this is a tmi vlog in general because we're talking about body parts here we're talking about boobs and everything yeah um yeah i have sensation on my nipples like just like before even better than before which is amazing um yeah it's so funny like now when this morning when i went to shoot i didn't have the bra on i didn't have this bra on it literally felt like i was naked i had to like keep looking at my boobs to make sure that i went you know because i'm just so not used to not feeling like the weight on my chest I think that's what it is like the weight just was like oh my god the weight is not there anymore i had to like keep looking down i'm just like are oh, my boobs still there oh my god guys i just love my body so much um but yeah again this is good this yeah this is like a good size for me um it's gonna go smaller which i'm excited about now i'm just thinking like it's still too big i want it to go down i want it to go down but this is good though like this is gonna look really really good when like in three months check back in three months so that's oot septum octub so we'll we'll do like a three months update um with the surgery at three months that's when i will be able to really 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 see the results yeah two weeks post-op i'm excited i just feel so good honestly i'm just so looking forward for fall now to be wearing all the new tops i cannot wait guys i've just been shopping getting so many tops because tops has been one of the things that i could never find i only stuck to wearing like shirts because a button down was kind of like the option the only option that i had like cute tops just didn't really do anything for me because if it had some detail on it it would add too much volume to my chest it, it's just it just never really found ones that work now i am just kind of like excited to just like for fall and i'm having a brunch soon at la cathedral which is the same restaurant that i celebrated my birthday so um they invited me to do a brunch with like a couple of friends so i'm excited to like have a couple of people with me and then um i think deb and i we were taking like a little weekend trip somewhere um on the east coast so just like a little drive like a couple of hours drive from here not a lot which is good and then sherry and i i think we want to go to hudson valley and stuff like that which i actually need to do research right now because i may be shooting or i may have to go to the beach in long island Ugh, that's why i wish i had a car so it would just like be easy for me to just like jump on my car and just like go to the places that i need to to go to i really really miss having a car to be quite honest and i'm thinking about getting a car there's a certain level of just like intimacy that you have in your car that you can't really have like in an uber and then for trips like longer than an hour i want to be able to drive there and just do what i need to do so i'm really really considering getting a car but yeah that's a little update for you guys i woke up and my boobs were like so happy this morning i just don't know and i'm 
excited i'll catch you guys later all right guys i just ordered this new little bra from amazon i will link it below i just needed something in between like if i needed to go to an event or shoot some outfits i just needed a bra to have a little bit of support to kind of wear underneath my clothes and i think i'm gonna end up wearing this to the event later which i don't even want to but now i can w pull off outfits like this before i could never because you know my boobs would just be like spilling all over the place but now i can wear stuff like that and just like be cute so i think this is going to be a look i think i'm gonna try on with like white pants and do like an all white look but what i really really wanted to show you are these nipple covers that i'm going to be wearing all the time now got these from amazon i'm gonna link them below so i picked uh it comes in three colors i picked the cocoa because that's the one that's closest to my skin tone and then i went number three which is size a to c cups um so yeah from the reviews this is one of the best ones out there the nippy's skin so i'll link it below and then i will also link this sort of bra just in case you are going through the process or just in case you just want to find something super ah. comfortable to just wear in the house like this is something that i can see myself wearing in the house Farmer Celine has landed in Soho. Come check it out. <laughs> I am now in the cab going around. This is so cute. Okay, I've got so many compliments on my skin today. So I'm excited. What's your name? Musa. Musa. Come on, Sava Musa. Where's the media? Ah. She's Asian. Oh, she's Asian. Maui. African. now but i got a couple of orders i got the scale from macy's i don't i've never been one to weigh myself because i've been kind of like the same weight all my life for over the past decade i've weighed the same thing which is about 110 115 um and then now those four pounds are off my chest so i'm kind of like excited to see how much i weigh now okay i don't think it's giving me the right thing it's giving me 835. I don't know what that means. I am 118. So that means, I mean, I've eaten. I am full. Plus also I have clothes on. So 118. I'm thinking my will weight is about 115. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, go down already. Go down, go down but this is the little bra that i ordered to wear in between i think i may have talked about it before i don't remember yeah i was just talking about it but this is the little bra to just wear in between if i need to go to an event if i need to shoot something because my surgical bras they just don't look good underneath clothes and then they make my boobs look bigger for some reason so i needed something that kind of like a surgical bra so this is like a little bralette that just provides me kind of like the same support as a surgical bra to just wear on the days where i have to work from pharmacy land i just got a lot of samples maybe i'll include them in a giveaway because i'm gonna do a hair giveaway where i'm gonna give some of my favorite tools from t3 they have the um the twirl trio it's my favorite one i take it with me when i'm whenever i'm travel i cannot travel without it so i'm gonna give one away because i have another one for myself so i'm gonna give one away um i'll announce a giveaway in the next video i haven't decided which video is gonna be on yet and then I ordered this little gold basket from Target. It's like a little nice little basket to just put on the corner on my apartment. So that way, that way I can have like the extra throws. Just like, you know, put my throws there. Especially when I'm working, when I'm filming. And, I'm, and I have to remove the throw that's on my sofa. And then I usually put it on the floor because I don't have a spot for it. So this one is going to be for there. But I feel like I'm all over the place now and I'm thirsty. I need to like hydrate. And then I'll come back to you guys because I just feel like I'm all Hello guys, happy Monday. It's been two weeks now and a couple of days. And I'm feeling good. I mean, my nipples kind of like feel super sensitive. They kind of like hurt a little. I'm not in pain, but the nipple is just like feels raw. 
and things like that so i'm guessing it's just part of the healing process which is fine but i'm just like i just can't wait i just want to be healed already and just like start doing things start wearing clothes um because right now when i wear clothes it puts some pressure on my chest so what i've been wearing which is, has been so amazing is this white shirt so the way that i wear it is just it's so stiff it's just perfect so it doesn't put any pressure on my boob it just stays open so i just have like my surgical bra just like that so this has been my outfit and then i'm wearing this like yellow zimmerman shorts that i got last year i think they still have them so i would like some some for you guys below so you can check them out but other than that i am good i can put my arms up um pretty high i mean not oh! Oh! oh my god that responded straight to the nipple okay let me not do that <laughs> but yeah um i can carry stuff i mean i still try not to carry anything too heavy because for the first two weeks i couldn't carry anything so now i can carry a little bit more but still i try not to overdo it because you know we're trying to be safe here and heal perfectly but every time i take a shower and i look at my boobs i'm like oh my god this is amazing i honestly wish like they were like smaller i know they're gonna go down but i'm not gonna lie i i mean they're pretty small now but i just feel like i wish they would just like be so small but i just got my order from macy's i ordered this little samsonite carry-on because the other one that i had was horrible but i love carry-on it's always good to have carry-on for like a little you know weekend trip or like a couple of days trip it's good to have a little carry-on but what i typically like to pack in my carry-on are my electronics so i'll pack my camera my drone my laptop and things like that and like designer stuff um if i'm taking anything um with me and also like an extra outfit like just in case you know your luggage get lost i give my older one my old my other one to my mom because i hated that one it didn't have like any separator so it's just like every time you pack something it just completely fall into each other it was such a mess um that's about it for the update i'm gonna wait for the rain maybe i'll go on my errands much later it's 131 now can't believe it's already 131 i did write a couple of pages of my ebook this morning i am going to be doing an ebook to help you guys if you've been thinking about becoming an influencer blogger um i'm just going to put a resource out there to help you guys out i'm gonna give you not only just the basic of you know ins and out of blogging i'm gonna give you some templates you know to work with brands and also photography photography can be a huge thing because especially nowadays photographers can charge you an arm and a leg they want 10 percent of your stuff so i want to actually show you guys it's better it's good to know a little bit about photography um you can take your own photos by yourself or you know you can just find someone who's an amateur and then you use your own camera and just like teach them i prefer working with like an amateur or just like someone who just need extra cash it's just easy um again not to say i don't respect you know the art of photography i'm a photographer i went to school for it but i just think people would take it a little bit too far so yeah they have all these rules and stuff and i'm like i want to be able to see all my photos and pick the one that i like you know it's not up to you to choose the pictures for me i don't think it should be that way i think as a client you should have access to all your photos and pick the ones that you want to and perhaps edit them the way that you want if you'd like some you know if you'd like to edit and then i think you know the photography in the terms of blogging is kind of like almost a lost art because i just feel like most people will not just take pictures with the iphone of course the iphone takes really good photos but i think when you want to work with brands and charge them a lot of money it's really really good to have good quality content is so so important and i just feel like a lot of people kind of just like forget about that you know aspect of it so i just feel like if you have that experience you can go and charge brands a lot more for the quality content that you create compared to someone who just used an iphone to just take their content you know the difference is going you know it's going to be different so that's going to be ready um by the end of june so i have like a week not june we're in july the end of july so i have this week to finish this ebook so it should be available for purchase on august 15 i believe 
yeah august 15 is a day um it's the launch day it's going to be the launch day for the book and then i'm also going to have a service if you guys ha want to have like a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can ask me questions and stuff you can do that so i'm gonna have that session as well you know if you want to ask specific questions okay guys this dress has arrived goodness i didn't realize i was in a prison like and i wasn't like in jail with my boobs i did not realize my goodness now i can wear some stuff like that this is like a simple dress you can wear on vacation right to just like go out for dinner and then now you can you guys can actually see like how small i am right but yeah this is a size small and it's perfection it also comes in cream which i wanted to buy but i'm honestly so over cream dresses because i have so many like i'm at the point where i'm like i cannot like, i do not want to buy any more white dresses because like when it, every time i look at my closet i'm just like white 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 like i need to like you know do something Ooh. when i tell you it's perfection <laughs> I'm so excited! I wish my boobs were smaller. I can't wait for them to get like small. OMG! <laughs> perfection. When I say perfection, perfection. Like this is a cute dress for me to just wear to go to Hillstone, like summer night Hillstone. Just wear this to just go grab a burger, have a drink, and that's it. Like so sexy and um i'm gonna talk to you guys about something but let me actually go put my bra back on <laughs> but yeah this is the top like my goodness look at this quality is insane in these tops i just feel like my boobs looks bigger but it's okay boop, boop, boop. guys i'm so happy and so excited okay guys i am back so what i really turned on the camera to talk to you guys about it's the whole kind of like elegance thing you know like of course i know for a while that was kind of like my identity on kind of like youtube and you know like some of you think and like myself used to think like um like woman has to be one dimension like women we don't have to be one dimensional you know we are multifaceted like we can have multiple style in one it doesn't have to be just one thing you know i can be elegant when that's required obviously i'm not gonna be like working around naked just because my boobs are smaller now like that's never been my thing but of course i'm gonna wear things that normally i couldn't wear before um not because i didn't want to wear them but because you know it was limited the whole thing about just like oh we, i love your blonde hair but the black hair was so elegant it's just like i don't want to look back at my pictures and just think like i've only had one hairstyle which is now when i look back at my stuff it's just like one hairstyle it's just like i don't want to look back i want to just like take risk and have fun um you know with fashion fashion is serious but at the same time it's not that serious you know we should be able to just like have fun with our style change up our hair and do all that stuff so again guys expect for my style to change a lot um we are going let's bridge your 10 and more bad b um on this channel again my style have changed you know i went from only wearing pants back in the days i used to only wear pants i never even wore dresses before so um to only wearing dresses i know a lot of you guys know me as the dress girl but for years and years i never wore dresses I was wearing suits all the time and pants for work so um that was that and then i had a style evolution where you know i switched up to dresses because i wanted to make up for the times where i never wore dresses especially you know go up, growing up a tomboy you know was never really into dresses so yeah my style have changed a lot if you go back to my blog years before you could see i've experimented with print color and then i went through a period where i switched myself to completely neutral i you know decided to have a capsule wardrobe and i would say having a capsule wardrobe has taken my style to a level that just completely amazing we don't have to be one dimensional you know i don't have to just have an identity being elegant and all that nonsense 
you know now when i think of elegance i just think old you know it's just, and i'm just like i will never have this body again like why not enjoy it you know like as you get older you realize all the times you know you spend nitpicking at yourself like thinking that oh you were big or whatever it was wait whatever you thought about yourself like thing and then now you look back when you're much older you're like oh my goodness i was a freaking hottie like i should have taken advantage of that so if there's one thing that i could tell my younger self or my 25 year old self you know is to just have more fun in fashion i want to be taken more seriously for my fashion in the industry there's you know certain brands that i want to work with and that's going to take you know switching up my style a little bit the style that i've always wanted now i finally can get that style because now i have the body for it now i have the body for it i mean i've always had the body but you know my breasts were the thing like you know keeping me you know holding me hostage but now that i no longer have them it's just like so amazing to just like step into my new life you know my new body and just like experiment and just take my career to the next level oh my goodness all right guys i have to get back to work plus i have to finish the ebook all right i'll catch you guys later Bye. happy tuesday i've just gone back from shooting i'm still wearing the little bra i need to go back to my surgical bra but this one is just so much more comfortable the other one kind of like press on my nipples i feel like it's too tight i don't like it although the doctor said it should be fine but i'm like it's way too tight but um but yeah today's shoot was a success i just love the photos so much came out so not well i haven't edited them yet but i already know they are so good i need to shoot down there more often like the sun wasn't you know like hot it wasn't like crazy hot or anything like that and then also we were by the water so it was just like so perfect and then they wanted to look like i was on vacation and it honestly looked like i was on vacation somewhere in europe which is amazing i'm so happy about my shoot for today i actually need to go to the post office and send a package i got a couple of packages that just came in one from Laura Mercier. I absolutely love Laura Mercier. They like one of my favorite one favorite brands ever. Um, I use so many um, Laura Mercier products on a daily basis. If I do, ah, sorry, my boobs are like sharp little pain when I do my makeup. So yeah, and I also use it in my skincare. My morning moisturizer actually that I use this morning. It's a Laura Mercier. Sorry about the mess in the background. Um next next week i'll be able to to film a haul i need to film hauls and tiktok which is why all the stuff is in the living room um you know until i can feel comfortable enough to try on because now they if i try on clothes it just put too much pressure on my boobs and it's just it just put them through so much so i just trying to like stay away from like trying things on unless i absolutely have to which is why this shirt is so perfect because all i have to do is i just keep my surgical bra on or this little one that i buy to just wear in the meantime when i'm shooting it's so funny my boobs looks just so big on camera but in real life they are ah, they are small i mean compared to what they were before they were like you know this is like small but i just want them to get smaller guys i want them to get smaller and smaller and smaller so yeah this is it i'm gonna eat some food that my mom bought me and then um yeah it's a really really beautiful suit now i wish i would have sized down in the shorts but then again i think i like the oversized bits and then also i got these shoes from fit flop at first my mom was like i'm gonna take these um they're not your style but my goodness once i popped them on i was just like yeah i am keeping these i've literally been walking around the city with these all day long oh my goodness now i can actually see my feet i could never see my feet before because of my breast or like my belly now i can see my belly i can see my feet like i even look taller you know since all these things are in my chest it's so funny like my family sees me everyone is just like damn rose you got more sexy and i'm just like it's just the chest that's not there anymore i am literally almost the same weight almost the same weight that i've been my entire life but because i don't have the chest anymore i just look how i'm supposed to look you know i look like my size which is hey guys, great going to an event guess what i am back in this outfit because 
it is such a hot look i may actually wear it tomorrow again to the dinner that i'm going to but tomorrow i think i want to wear a dress although i've just been loving this look so much called my lift they sent me a lift code and i just you know put some powder on my face and i feel like i'm looking greasy again on my lips i've got Giorgio armani 110 lip power and i've got my pearl choker which i'll link below and this little bag from jw whatever i will link it below as well i'm obsessed with this bag i may actually get it in the white but then again i'm thinking about getting a designer bag in the white for like event like this so i may not need it all right guys if you're in the area be sure to come to miss nc here i know you're fine and i've discovered a new fave call on the figure which is oh my god smells so amazing i love it and the store is just the most beautiful I love it and the candles are just incredible like the best candles out there be sure to stop by right, guys as you saw i stopped at mizanzir if you're in the area definitely go check it out it's one of my favorite stores it's so elegant um definitely check it out but i am back now from the event honestly i should have just you know finished my work because i have something that is kind of like overdue because i had surgery i couldn't shoot that's why it's overdue not because i'm like negligent but i finally was able to shoot it today now i just have to edit it i already edited half of it before so now i just need to other, other half and just submit it which i'm about to do but i could have just stayed home and done that i would have been done already and then boobies are doing good i'm wearing my little other bra i just cannot wait for them to just like go down and get smaller come on boobies get smaller but my nipples just been feeling a little bit raw and so i'm gonna call my doctor to to, to small because it's already like eight o'clock to um set up an appointment to to go see her and but i have sensitivity and everything everything is working fine but i just want them to just be a little bit less sore but then again it's just like it's a big surgery like i need to relax and give my body time to heal I know we can be impatient sometimes. We just wanna like, I just wanna wear clothes and not, you know, being sore. Just my nipples like being sore and like screaming. That's what I wanna, you know, that's the point that I wanna get to and I'll get there very soon. But that's the only thing and I just, you know, I, I still cannot make, you know, like, <clears throat> cannot carry heavy, heavy stuff still. But that's okay though. I'm gonna get back to work. I'm gonna wait for my sushi to get here. And then one thing that I want to be, doing more for the end of the the end of the year is just not ordering i'm gonna have to figure out a solution in terms of like food um i don't know if i'm gonna go back to like eating my plantains all the time because just ordering food every day is so costly especially if you have to order food twice a day sometimes that i do i just ordered some sushi it was literally 50 dollars, and i'm just like why and just fees alone that was already like oh almost twenty dollars just in fees crazy to me going forward i just want to just like be making my own food and then i just realized how regular i have been since i've been eating my mom food and i'm just like i need to go back to just like cooking the things that i want and at least i know what i'm putting into my body i need to go back to being like a little health nut and then but then again when i'm in the house but when i go out i just allow myself to have whatever i want um, i really really want to stop going out i mean so tomorrow i have a dinner at italy downtown with malfi gin which i'm so excited for that dinner i know it's gonna be good those are the events that i like to go to i love dinner events you know i just get to sit in one place and my friend robin is coming with me which i am so excited for i'm so excited and i was thinking about like who can i take with me to go to events because most of the people that I could take, they don't live up here, they live upstate. And then the other ones, they just have regular jobs and then it's kind of like hard for us to connect. So it's just amazing that um, that uh, Robin was just like, you know, open to going. Okay guys, I quickly wanted to show you what costs $50. So this is it and that. $50 I just spent on this food. I mean, I am all about like, you know, abundance mindset and, and all that jazz, but this is criminal, like literally criminal, but you know what? We're about to enjoy it. Um, 
like i said i am all about the whole abundance mindset or whatever but like at what point does it start uh, stop like spicy yellowtail and i got a baby yellowtail seared over here it looks so much better in the pictures i saw it i am a spicy tuna kind of girl i love spicy tuna it's my favorite roll but i miss going to sushi spot in Wafen county it's like the best sushi in my opinion it's the best sushi in new york i haven't found a place Really, with the sushi is that good. I wanted to quickly show you my outfit because although you saw it at the event but it's not the same from showing you in the mirror so this dress you saw it in my summer vacation outfit this is from sir the label it is another Aussie brand what I'm just noticing I love the Aussies like they make some of my favorite dresses it's just amazing and I love the cutout again I need to get back to working out and tone this area again but um, yeah this is the first time that I'm wearing this dress since my surgery and it fits so much better because the other time my bra was literally like spilling underneath it was like so embarrassing and then i love now my nipple is speaking through like <laughs> yeah this is the dress again it looks amazing on i love it I'm back home now. I've got some work to do because I haven't really I did my email earlier, but I haven't done it since then. I'm gonna do my email tomorrow. It's shoot day, so tomorrow I have a super early shoot, and then I'm seeing my doctor tomorrow. And then I have um a meeting and then I have an event. So it's just like tomorrow I'm gonna be all over the place. So it's a very busy day. Again, this is my first week back at work. It's super busy and then of course it's like so many events happening i need to like you know stop going to all these events you know i just bought some pasta from italy so shoot. oh i have some plantains i could just make some plantain yeah i think i'll eat the plantains and then i'll make the pasta tomorrow yeah i'll do that i'll make the pasta for lunch i love pasta for lunch because it's like heavy I love to have like a heavy lunch, a light dinner. Um, since I have plantains, I'm gonna have some plantains for dinner instead. And then I just have to get my clothes ready for the shoot tomorrow. I'm gonna do this with um, the perfume. And then that's about it. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.